Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues A to Z series as we're playing as Binary Counts. Now this is a Raider Nation. Um, they have Fallen Reavers as a National Spirit as well as Binary Counts, which is not very good. But we are where, where we're at with this for now. But Origins of the Game. Formed on Glad and Gore most of the time, Raider games certainly aren't always alike. What were we before we formed? Old War criminals running gauntlet long before anyone else did. Former tribal seeking up arms for profit and fun, or vault dwellers broken by experiments and wanting nothing more than to make it the wasteland suffer. And then we have the gang uh, lifestyle. Be it killing, maiming, pillaging, road riding, or even simple chem dealing, every gang has a shtick. And we are no different. Uh, though obviously we're going to go much farther than some two bit chem pushers, of course. Origins of the gang. Man, everyone's got a bloody story. Good good story. Every half bit gang or I want to be conquerors, but between you and me, we're the real deal. The realest of deals. Uh, before we were Raiders, we were the real deal now. Well, heck, no one's got us mad like us. Or made like us, really. More organization would be nice. Production and retention to be the biggest, baddest tribe. Well, the visual organization seems like the best one. Even though, who are we with Leecher? It's hard to tell. We are elite. Binary counts. We're the Plague Lands. So, gang ambitions. We're not going to stay on the back burner forever. So I'm going to go beg and take what should be ours, weaklings. And idiots surround us, why not simply take what we want? We'll do whatever we want to them. We are raiders and no one screws around with us. So, not bad overall. And starting the flow. We've recently been a bit short on sauce. Everyone knows what sauce makes will go around, but we don't got the t caps to get any. A little talk might listen up lips. What kind of gang are we, though? Lev, what you mean, what kind? You know who we are, you know what we do, and we do what we do best. No one rivals us, and anyone that wants us, wants to, is in for the beating of a lifetime. Rule the roads, loudest, fastest hogs. Raiders, loot, pillagers, kill, kill, pillage, repeat. What more do you need? Got to fix every kind of stuff that's top quality. Um, well, we're in the plague lands. Fallen Reavers. Um, we travel behind the firewall to find true salvation. Fate worse than death. Binary counts. Blood purification implant. Well, this just seems like the best. Drug runners, road hogs. We don't get that much manpower, so. Are we demobilizing at all? No, we're actually mobilizing more. Uh, you know what? Let's go with. Uh, let's go with that one. Gang ambitions. Uh, a little talk might listen up to the tap. Dump raiders. We've got our hands on something called Super Jet. And while no one has an idea where it comes from, it makes a boys mad as heck. Just pump them full of stuff and unleash them on the enemy. Just make sure to wait a long while after the withdrawal kicks in. Don't mind the body parts. Gang ambitions? You know about the future, I'll tell you about our effing future. Bang the top. We're going to the top. we got big plans, big freaking plans. Boss knows what's up on the up and up, trust me. 20 years from now, we'll rule the freaking wasteland. So are you in? You want a slice of the pie, Scab? We're taking slaves. Those pissing gains, they don't respect us yet. Same plans always. We're going to take what we need from whoever. Go with that. Incorporating slavers. Yeah, they kind of bum some of the boys out. All the willing and wailing and pleading and such. But the slaves are so useful, we can't really go uh, without them. You can make them do pretty much anything. That includes making them think that they last more than five seconds in the front line. They'll be free. Slave labor. Organizing massive slave recruitment and putting them to work on construction? Genius. Okay. Some of them might lose an arm or two from time to time, but you can't doubt that the brothel got built that way faster than usual. For slavery. You have to be smart when you use slaves. Push them just hard enough to have good results, but not quite enough to kill or maim them. That certainly takes a degree of skill, though, and with better training for our slave masters, we can make them work under the harsh desert sun and roads. And saving scientists. Listen, you gotta see those big brains there. Yeah, well, yeah, they don't like much, maybe, but maybe they could actually give us better shooties and such. How would just make them work for us? Watch them close and see how fast they make explosives when you have a gun pointed at them, improving the, um, the heartland. Getting control of more and more territory. Uh, Insider reach should definitely let us grow faster. Taking over factors and proceeding to a few executions should bring in most people in the line. Putting skulls on sticks. You know, you think scaring people is easy, but you, nah, you gotta think about it. Instead of putting random body parts on sticks and spraying crude messages everywhere, our boys have found out so far it's more effective to put a decapitated human head still having it all its skin on. Terrorizing locals. Sometimes we just have to take care of the simple matters. Threaten some locals, burn down some stuff in the distance, holler at them while firing in the air. That should calm anyone wanting to be a hero. That also certainly relieves some stress in our boys while we wait for the next raid. Raider HQ. What we need is a huge fortress, something that will immediately take, make rival gangs cower. We'll have huge walls, rooms dedicated to weapon production, lots of slaves to build even bigger and better. This will be awesome, and new leadership. So I'm taking a shake it up in the game. More and more, the boys begin to whisper. Anyone uh, can tell the air is thick enough to cut it with a knife. Whatever happened, that will happen as a bloodbath. Territorial loyalty. As we give more and more loot to our troops, certainly take a liking to the lifestyle. Combine that with reminding them what generally happens to raiders caught by actual nations, and that will make them fight all the hard to keep this kind of life. Manifest destiny. Look around, we're surrounded by morons, and they're so freaking weak too. They barely have anything on them. They don't even know how to lift a rifle. So are we scared of them again? They're land, loot, and cities. They should be ours, and we'll make them ours by force. We'll never die. 
I mean, except when we do, but you know what I mean. The gang never dies. I mean, there's just so much pillaging and looting and shooting. How could we ever? We keep getting more bullets. We keep getting more recruits, and thus we keep getting more loot and slave researchers. Supplementing our scientists with forcefully recruited engineers should make them work that much faster and result in even more cool stuff for us to play with. Just imagine. We could even maybe have a gun that doesn't explode in your face. But right now, we're going to go to war with these guys. They finally got up to like four ish divisions, maybe. Maybe eight, up to eight ish divisions. Um, my goal is just to make sure we don't die. They do have special forces as well, which does kind of suck for us. But. You know, it is what it is. If anything, I would like to go here and just take out the capital city. Possibly. If this doesn't go well, it doesn't go well, but whatever. Um, our special forces should be able to beat up their special forces. And we're trying to make quite a few more divisions, so we'll see. Um, let's grab that too. Get some recon teams, which we can actually use pretty much immediately. Um, get more output too. Because we have 282 stuff. For that, go on and throw some recon immediately. I don't have the guns for it, but we're, we're pretty close. Ah, they have quite a few divisions. Um, might be best to just wait to do the attack. I'll actually send you down here. So you can help support the attack and just help defend for now. So, But this is what, what, pretty much what we're going to be doing for the next while. Uh, we will be starting the flow. Shiny new toys would not be bad either. Now look at this shiny weapon. I have no idea how it works. So maybe it doesn't look as flashy as black powder guns, but it certainly packs the right punch through any idiot. Thinking a bunch of scrap will save them. And if that's just swell, maybe we'll just give them some egghead and some booze. Violently kicking the generator. I have absolutely no idea why the engineers keep saying we need to kick stuff. You think we they need some proper care, but they keep talking about percussive maintenance. Well, all right then, I'll just kick it, I guess. Don't stand too close to it after, oh, though, you know, dope raiders. Um, we got our hands on something called Super Gem while nobody has an idea where it comes from. It makes the boys mad as heck. Just pump full of the stuff and unleash them on the enemy. We'll just make sure to wait a while uh, after the withdrawal to kick in. Don't mind the body parts. Guns with the legs. Okay, so see this trash can? Well, it's guns in his armor. It also doesn't die as easily. So how about we kick in front of people and when they run out of ammo, we blast their butts. I mean, I know. I know. I should have been a tactician. Uh, fixing terminals. Apparently, the terminals would really let our eggs heads write down stuff easier and go way faster in the research. So I give them the terminals. So much you can fill an entire room with them. I just want a new gun. And, uh... Heavy metal men. Well, if you wonder about this, please go ahead, because we cannot research power armor, I think. Lightning raids. We're in and up before anyone even knows what happened. That's how it goes, boys. We're going fast, hard, take the loot, and take the slaves, and take their lives. Generate quality through violence. We don't really discriminate around here. If you can throw a grenade far enough to land it where it's funny to watch explode, or if you can slice someone's arm off with a machete, you're, you're in. Proving yourself. If you want a leader, boys, you better prove you can. Well, that generally means you beat someone to death with his own arm, then tact sound tactical choice is also acceptable, I guess. Brutal hazing. Why train our troops when we can just dope them to heck and have them fight each other? Whoever's left is more clearly experienced than the other after all. Taking what we need. Raiding is pretty simple business. It's uh, what's hard to sing if it's really worth taking on that PA patrol how and how. But with some more experience against simple targets, we can improve our raiding techniques. Recruiting them young, because we like them young. Now let's really bring more troops to the front line, yeah, just make sure they can actually lift the rifle or aim it. Expanding the garage. You can be sure that as soon as someone talked about expanding the garage, every boy in the gang was listening. Who wouldn't want a roaring monstrosity to a vehicle all for themselves? It would be done faster than expired jet usage. Business booms. Business booms, artillery blooms, and certainly goes kaboom. Nobody's going to complain about having a heavy ordinance on their side except when it drops on their head by accident. Encouraging slavers. It might be pushing a, a bit too tad far for some, but more slavers and more caps mean more and more slaves to use in our army, which is always a good thing, of course. We can always use them for other stuff later. Uh, and the uh, sadists. Those efforts are all over us in a moment. Turn your head one second, then some nut job decides to axe the entire gang leadership for fun. These guys are animals and it wasn't even a murder. It was a mullet. They didn't even use weapons, they're just fists in their teeth. Prepare for total war. Now that everyone's too afraid to do anything, the crazy is taking over. They don't even make sense. They just want to run it up every, absolutely everybody in, the, in every neighboring village and be children or elderly and told them to figure out how to use a gun. I saw them decapitate a guy with crutches with my own two eyes just because he wouldn't pick it up. A draconian recovery method. With everyone having either fled the area or entirely gone utterly axe crazy from their training, the nut jobs have completely taken over. They don't care how you do it, but you won't stop the massacre. They pump anyone in an army full of cams and they feed them human corpses if there's no food. I just become feral. But right now we're still at war, and at this point we're gonna go do this maybe, if possible. That'd be great. Um, we could just push through this one singular division, which we should be able to. I mean, I've, over time, it's been quite a bit of time since the fade out, fade in. We're right now 18 combat width with recon. These guys are 18 combat with uh, no recon, but we do want to get some anti tank. We need more divisions, we need more factories and whatnot, so that's why we're going over here and getting generated quality to get to expanding the garage to get more factories more quickly. So that would be nice. How would you hold first? Let them spread out a little bit first. If they go in here, that's fine as well. I don't really care too much. Um, yeah, don't worry about that. Go up here. And do it too. There we go. See what you can do. 
tech is here. The special forces should be doing okay. Uh, grab some more of that too. Standardized tools. Yeah, that's great, that's great. Nice. Get some more manpower. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Follows the apocalypse. Um, nah, we're good. We have a lot of political power too, which is very nice. There you go. Once we win here, followers rejected as they should be. Go here, go here, and circles. There's only one division, but that'll be very nice. Here are the couch deal list. 300 losses versus 1400, which is, uh, I'd say, pretty decent overall. You know. Help them out right there. Our generals are very relatively experienced. 454, four, which is pretty darn decent. So. You know what? Hold. What if they don't fill in that line? Fill in that hole. Hmm. Are they seriously not going to fill it in? Okay. Well, that sucks. I'm only making a circle, but whatever. Push them that way. I still be like ding dong ding, and then to put someone there. So. Or they just opened everything up here and we just encircle them anyways and we do that. That too could also work. And you still encircle two divisions. And you're going to keep these guys in place. There you go. Now that definitely worked out for us. That's not bad. And we're already on every cap for the army. We've filled out most of the stuff already. I'm gonna go outside of battalion so we can get, assimilate them even faster because we have all the political power that we need right now. So, might as well. <clears throat> so, when do you guys come up here? I want you to switch up there. Go there, there. Take special forces. Take out special forces. Yeah, might as well. How big are their special forces? A four to ten battalions. It's not bad. Obviously, not very good. And what we need. Of course, we'll core all this up as fast as we possibly can. Um, this is booming uh, short fuse engineering. More and more explosives are required rather than have an advantage over other gangs. Every boy in the troop has has to have its own stock of it, and that's what will take quite a bit of time. But all the screams and blowing bits will make it worth it. An explosion in understanding. That's what you call it, anyway. As one of the boys blew himself up on experimental explosives and apparently gave the egghead some ideas. If it makes him work faster, that will throw people on top of mines at this rate. Nice. <clears throat> very good, very good, very good. Metal working is nice. And just crush them all. We're already running out of manpower, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Very good. So now we're going to do this and just going to encircle them all, if possible. Just go down there, to old, uh, go there, to there, old town, Sarbin. Just going to... Just gotta go around him at this point. You might as well. Old town. Oh, what are we using? No, we're not making. Oh, radios. Oh, we'll be using radios soon enough. Nice. Chop, shop, shimmy. We got plenty of vehicles running around, but nothing quite standardized. They're mostly ramshackle pieces of junk. It's not really worth looking into, but we could also beat the snot out of any drivers and engineers we encounter until we can give they give us something we can make. One of these guys is going to give up here. <clears throat> if they really wanted to, they could encircle our special forces and really quickly destroy it, but hopefully they don't. Because that would suck. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my voice. <laughs> Excuse me. Whew. <laughs> ah, no other hiccups. God dang it. Nice. And there we go. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. Probably next time we're going to keep expanding in different areas. And we might even start with a time lapse. But we'll see what happens. Also, if you want to read these ones, please go right ahead. I've read these quite a few times already. So But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else we can do with the binary accounts. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.